Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. You know there was a time when anyone who has completed their B.Tech in Marine Engineering, Ocean Engineering or Naval Architecture, if they wanted to sit in gate exams, they had to pick up either Mechanical Engineering, Electrical Engineering or anything else. But 21-22 is the first session when gate exams had been also organized for B.Tech Marine Engineering and Naval Architecture and Ocean Engineering. And my batchmate was the luckiest one who got the opportunity to appear in this exam. And in this video, I am going to talk with one of my friends who has obtained All India Rank 11 in GATE exam. So stay tuned with the video. Hello Asutos, welcome to my channel Amrit Raj Compositions and many many congratulations for your wonderful success in GATE for All India Rank 11. Thank you, Amrit. Today, I am going to ask you a few questions related to GATE exams and about marine engineering. So, at first, tell about yourself, about your achievement in DMAT and also in GATE. Uh, as, uh, as you know, I am uh, Ashutosh Kumar and uh, I have done my B.Tech in Marine Engineering from the Maritime University, Kolkata, also known as DMAT. And uh, after that, I decided to appear in GATE from Naval Architecture and Marine Engineering and I secured All India Rank 11 there. So yeah. When did you decide you will sit for like gate exams? Uh, are you clear from the beginning of your college life that uh, I am not going to sail at sea? Uh, not probably, uh, Amrit. Actually, uh, what happened is that uh, as I entered into marine engineering, I, you know, started to explore uh, much scope there. So I went to know that uh, there was an exam called an exam called gate and uh, there's a huge opportunity there also. So there it went that I have to appear in gate and I started preparing for gate. Uh, initially I appeared from mechanical engineering, but this year I uh, decided to appear from naval architecture and marine engineering. So yeah, this was my plan and uh, yeah, it worked well. Uh, Asutos, as you know, this time the GATE exams was being conducted for first time for the aspirant uh, having branch marine engineering naval architecture. And you have no structures of the preparation, like there was no sample papers, there was no previous year questions. Then how did you prepare? And when a cadet should start preparation for the GATE in college? Uh, Amrit, uh, this is a dilemma for every student. Actually, when they are coming to college, uh, you know, they are very confused. I was also very confused what I should do, whether I should sail or not. So I would mm -hmm. say that uh, preparing for the very initial moment is not required. Firstly, we need to develop our uh, interest in the subjects. If we have developed our interest in the subject, it is uh, really fruitful. For example, uh, there is a subject uh, um, called Naval Archit Architecture, which we studied in six, seven semester. So that subject is very important. You know, this, this year, 18 to 19 questions came from that particular subject only. It was a very decisive, um, you know, area. So I would say that uh, studying every subject, you know, um, you know, to the fullest, giving your full interest is very important. So yeah, that's why. And um, after that, uh, from the third year also, also and for, from fourth year also, you can start preparation for the examination. And uh, yeah, there's no need to go from the first year itself. Just develop your basics and do your best. What I did was uh, to go with the syllabus. It was a very brief syllabus. Everything was given nicely. And I decided to I will that I will go topic wise. So initially, I started with mechanical subjects only, which I had prepared, uh, uh, you know, while, while being in college. So I started with engineering mathematics, then I uh, went with engineering mechanics, then strength of materials, and so on. So I just covered all those topics which were, uh, uh, you know, I could have covered uh, in the very beginning. And then I went with uh, the subjects like naval architecture, which was which I was not so familiar with, because we are marine engineers. And I thought that uh, uh, initially, if I prepared prepare for uh, naval architecture, it will be uh, a bit on the tougher side for me. So I started, uh, I started to prepare for naval architecture uh, in the middle. And then at last I prepared for uh, just 
went through IC engine and all those subjects, which was uh, which I was very handy with. So that was my plan, and I just followed the uh, syllabus, nothing else. So I think it uh, worked well for me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, also, tell the viewers about the scope. Like, uh, if a aspirant get good rank in gate, then what are the scopes for that? Uh, as far as the scope is concerned, uh, uh, Amrit, it is. Uh, I think it is well known. But uh, to be very specific, I would like to tell that if somebody <clears throat> wants to uh, pursue masters, you know, afterwards, like somebody has got some real interest in the field and uh, he wants to just. uh go and study further or go in research or such programs like phd also so there is a huge scope in this and uh, after securing uh, a good rank probably a good score i would say because uh, good rank does not help much but a good score can so yeah if you have got good score you can get admission into some uh, really good colleges like iit and nit and uh, iisc bangalore so it can help in that way and you can pursue uh, mtech from there after that the second uh, option is that you can um, just uh, try out psus if they come with some vacancies because till now i can't say uh, any psu will uh, come or not but i am uh, pretty positive and optimistic about that that some psus will come uh, in this sector also and if it comes it will be a huge opportunity for uh, the students yeah Okay, now you are qualified and uh, very good rank, All India rank eleven. Then, what is your perspective? How are you looking forward for PSUs or any colleges uh, in IIT or NIT? Basically, Amrit, uh, I I was very much uh, uh, sure about uh, pursuing my masters initially, but uh, um, you know, um, at this point of time, I am looking for other options also. but uh, my main objective will certainly be uh, to pursue masters from iit and i am looking forward there are many branches like thermal engineering petroleum engineering uh, naval architecture and ocean engineering iit kharagpur uh, where i can just um, i'm just uh, um, cash in my opportunity so uh, i am looking forward to it uh, it is very initial stage so i can't say uh, much about what i am going to do uh, now but uh, hopefully in the uh, near future I, i i'll i'll come with something better yeah i also hope that uh, you know there are many students uh, who just fall into the college by chance or you can say somebody has choice but somebody fall by chance but there are many students in our college or also like uh, in other branches who actually do not want to pursue that one like uh, there are many cadets who do not want to sell but uh, he has interest like you in gate or any technical exams or like uh, ies etc so what what suggestions will you give them like when should they start preparing for get exams what will be the exact timing and how should uh, they prepare look uh, amrit what i would say that uh, there are many students who uh, you know don't know what they are heading towards initially mm -hmm. and when they land mm -hmm. up in this particular branch uh, there is uh, there is one thing that uh, what they are going to do either they are going to sail or is there any op other opportunity for them so i would say that uh, uh, initially we should try to focus on uh, you know developing our interests in subjects not the branch but initially the subjects if they have got some interest in the subject and they have they have, they have developed some interest then uh, it is very easy for them to prepare afterwards for other exams like ies gate and uh, uh, you know there are plenty of opportunities so i would say that initially if you go into uh, uh, this branch marine engineering you have to develop the interest for subjects you have to develop the interest for uh, the core subjects i would say you know so that's that's the way yeah actually there are many of your juniors who is looking towards you as an inspiration so uh, they also want to achieve good rank like you uh single digit rank so what should they do what are the suggestions will you give them uh amrit as such i i would say that uh, uh, the thing which i did was uh, to just uh, uh you know pursue something which i was not knowing earlier but later i came, came to realize that uh, it can have it can it can lead me to something better so 
i did revise those subjects which i uh, which i had uh, you know studied in college again and again that worked and secondly what i did was to uh, practice as many numericals as can as i can as i was not knowing initially uh, what kind of questions which would um, you know will be coming from uh, this particular branch so i went with the basics i revised the subjects i solved as many numericals as can as i can and probably if anybody uh, you know do like this um, they can get a good rank probably get good good score because uh, there is a perception that uh, you know it is the rank which matters it is not the rank but the score which matters so i would like to tell in brief that uh, what the gate score is basically when you get some rank you are also given a gate score along with that and the gate score determines your uh, future whether you are going to get good iits or psus or as such something and uh, any score which is greater than 700 out of 1000 is a good get score good get score i would say very good get score so my get score was 753 i consider it really good and uh, you know uh, that's that's what matters so yeah getting a good rank and a good score is really possible if you prepare your basics well uh, prepare your numericals constant uh, you know continuously solve those numericals which are going to come especially from naval architecture uh, subject because this year only 18 to 19 questions came in this particular subject only on uh, naval architecture which was really determining factor for the um, you know rank and uh, all score so yeah this can be the real idea yes okay uh okay what do you see like uh, this was the first time when a marine engineering aspirant has get rank so what are their uh, like futures in psus will any companies like bpcl indian oil corporation like these uh, and there are many also cprs who is uh, recruiting actually mechanical engineers on the basis of get rank so uh, do you think they will consider marine engineering aspirants as well in future yeah uh amrit i am very optimistic about that that some companies would really come for that uh, they are bpcl uh, you know iocl etc but uh, the sure shot chance uh, is coming from uh, companies like those shipyards the coaching shipyard mazagon shipyards so they can uh, come and recruit students so i am very optimistic about it if they come it's um, a golden chance for all the aspirants i would say and they should really cash in uh, cash in this opportunity yeah because uh, earlier i had seen when they just come up with the vacancy they specially write like non eligible branch and our branch was one of them like marine engineering so uh, now i hope uh, this branch will be not in their list <laughs> non eligible list yeah this, this is very uh, you know depressing for a student like uh, like me anybody who is who has pursued mm-hmm. in Uh, an engineering which is very much inclined towards medic- mechanical mm. and uh, they are not mm. in getting any opportunity in mechanical probably because the company mm. has uh, specially specified that they want mechanical engineers with a degree in that particular mm. branch so i think uh, that uh, this is going to work well uh, from now on because uh, the introduction of this particular branch in gate signifies that this particular branch has got something uh, in it and the pro- companies are really uh, wanting the marine engineers uh, they should not go with campus placement only but should also come for uh, you know gate um, from gate path so this could be a chance yeah, yeah. so i also hope uh, this thing will help our marine industry and this is very fruitful i think <laughs> nowadays because sea is not only the option for marine engineers now uh okay any last word for the viewers of amrit raj compositions uh, yeah i would like to say that uh, uh, first of all uh, anyone who is uh, getting the opportunity from uh, marine engineering and uh, naval architecture background they should not lose hope there are so many opportunities around there and uh, i think that uh, sky is the limit you know if you want to explore more and more you can go with gate ies 
upsc also they are students who are going and you know they are doing excellent jobs there they are getting um, really good ranks like all india rank you know 10 20 have have come from our institutions and our branch yes, so yes. yeah so this kind of things uh, are there and i think that uh, you should be very optimistic about um, this particular branch also and uh, we get to learn from um, you know a, a lot from here so yeah these these are the things mm-hmm. i would like to focus on okay thank you very much ashutosh for your precious time to the viewers of the amrit raj compositions thank you very much thank you so much amrit thanks a lot thank you guys for watching this video and to watch more informative videos like this don't forget to subscribe amrit raj compositions thank you very much